everyone, it's Claire. Welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be telling you my huge tip for back to school. I did this and it's, well, I haven't started school yet, but I think it'll really help me. So today, I'm going to be telling you that tip. So let's get started. So the first thing is I'm in my Google Drive. If you guys don't know what Google Drive is, it's this program that Google has. It's a drive where you can do a bunch of different stuff. But if you don't have a Google account or if you don't want to use Google Drive, you can always use Microsoft Excel. So today we are going to be making a spreadsheet. So if you haven't already picked up your schedule for school, it's really important that you do this. You'll want it so that you can then um, make the schedule. So this is just a really cool thing that you can do and I have my my school agenda here so that's what you hear. Um, it's really cool so let's get into it. So up here you guys can't see this but there is a spot you see rename. If you click on that you can title it whatever you would like to. So I'm going to title this my schedule. And you can be really specific about it if you want, but I'm just going to call it schedule. So then down here, we have our main spreadsheet area. So I'm going to have five sections. And there is period, time, oops, class, teacher, and finally, we have room. So you can stay organized. And then I am actually, let's see, I'm going to bold them. And there's the clock, as always. Yep, it's now 9 o'clock, guys. Okay. Please stop. Okay, so that clock took forever. But anyway, we have this set up now. So, my phone, oh my gosh. So now we're going to move over the different sections to kind of class and teacher are going to be the biggest sections that you have. So now, depending on how many periods you have, you're going to fill this out with each period. And then when you have lunch, you're going to skip that one and then finish filling it in. So next for time, this will depend on where you live, but you just fill this out with when you have your classes and that kind of stuff. And this is super helpful. I am going to go fill this out and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished filling out the times. Yes, if you look at them, we have really bizarre times where I'm well, at my middle school. So anyway, that is what we have. But now you can fill out your classes. So first I have advisory, then I have communication arts, also known as English and writing. Oops. Next we have science. Then I have health, family, and consumer science, which if you don't know, that's also known as home economics. And if you have, if this is your elective time, then you can write elective there. And that's what you can do. Next we have lunch. Then I have math, band. Yes, I do play the flute if you are wondering and then social studies. So now I have all my classes filled in and I'm not going to fill out my teachers for privacy issues, well, for privacy concerns, but you can definitely fill in your teachers. In fact, that's what you should do. So you can fill in your teachers. I'm going to leave that spot blank though. And then finally, you can enter your rooms. So yeah, I'm going to enter my rooms now. And, oh, and health, by the way, is basically gym class. So you could write gym here, or you could write the room that they wrote on your schedule. Either one works, and it's totally fine. Of course, you're going to skip lunch, and then finish filling in your schedule. And finally, I have 1.30, which is really funny, 1.03, 1.30. So now my schedule is all complete, and then I'm going to highlight these areas, and I'm going to bold them. So now it's bold, and when we add the colors, you can really see it. So adding colors to it is optional, but I like adding the colors to my schedule because then it makes it, excuse me, it makes it easier for you to read. 
So first of all, I'm going to highlight this area and I'm going to come and because I feel like this orange, oops, don't go to the A. You want to go to the fill color. I always do that. So if I choose the orange, that's a little bit too bright for me. So then I'm going to go to custom and I'm going to go off of that orange color to make one that's more of a pastel. So I like that because it's a little bit easier to read. Now I'm going to do communication arts and I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to choose yellow, but because that's a little bit too bright, I'm going to customize it and make it a little bit subtler. Okay, so that looks good. And the reason why I choose the colors that I do is advisory was kind of random with um, orange, but I chose yellow for communication arts because that's what I used last year. And well, also it just kind of makes sense. So when I was in my fifth grade class, we used the colors to represent each thing, except for advisory and uh, family and consumer science because of course we didn't have those. So as you can see all I'm doing is I'm just trying to make a lighter color so that I can still read it and I'm skipping three things health, lunch, and band because I feel like those ones if I leave a few white then it won't be too overwhelming but don't feel like you have to leave a few white because you don't have to, okay? You can um, totally color everything if you want. And finally, for social studies, I'm choosing red. So make sure that when you do this, you choose colors that you'll be able to remember and recognize. So now my schedule looks pretty good. And from here on out, all you have to do is just print out your schedule. And it's so easy. Of course, you can customize this and use whatever colors make sense to you. You could do a rainbow. You could do anything that you would like to. These colors just make sense to me in my brain. So that's really all you have to do. And of course, you can add more to this or adjust it. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. I really hope this was helpful, and if it was, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!